Hi Scorpio, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we'll get you some messages. Let's see what's going on in your energy and maybe what advice your angels and gods want to tell you today. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, Scorpio, we're going to just jump right in and grab your cards. We have the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor, Seven of Wands, and Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. So... I feel like you're in the midst of a situation that's really important to you. Um, I feel like you know what your goal is. I know, I think you have a plan to get there. You know, um, I feel like you're kind of single-minded right now. I feel like you have filled your life with physical pleasures. And I feel like the people around you are enjoying the fruits of your labor. The emperor is tells me that you are in this alpha male energy right now. You are really determined. You are kind of feel like a stubborn type of energy here. You you're you really want things to go your way and how you plan them. But sometimes when we're so rigid and we're not flexible, um, you know, things don't always happen the way that we expect them to. So, uh, just be careful of arrogance here. Okay. Um, alpha male is confidence and that's beautiful. That's attractive. Um, but arrogance is not. So just, just be wary of that, that you don't slide into that arrogant nature that I feel like you might have a tendency to do here. Especially with the Queen of Pentacles energy too, which is like you've, it feels like you've like, like filled your life with like, um, just toys, grown up toys, but toys, because you want to, um, have people admire you. I don't know, but there's some defensiveness here. So you're, you're being defensive about something you have, you feel like you have to, Stand your ground or stick up for yourself um, in some way, shape, or form. And, uh, but there's some money coming in. There's some new money coming in here too as well. Or at least a new opportunity to make money. But I don't really feel like money is an issue for you. I, f I just feel like you attract money. Money comes to you. Um, I think money comes and goes. And you know this. And you're okay with it. But there's definitely something here that you are like, kind of feel like you're determined to be on top. And, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I'm getting a little bit of mm, yucky energy here. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. So that's why I said be careful of the arrogance. There's, there's something that could just, uh, it could turn ugly if you aren't on top of it. All right, let's get some more cards. All right, we have eight of wands, eight of cups, double eights here. Uh, the emperor again, look at that, Scorpio, you are Definitely stepping into your power here. You are definitely determined. Some, look how his arms are crossed. You're you're just standing there like, nobody's going to get one up on me. I'm going to win. I'm the emperor. I deserve it. Like you just have this attitude and I'm telling you it's, it's kind of bordering on arrogance. So be careful with that. Confidence is very sexy. It is. Arrogance is not, and you're bordering on arrogance here. 
I don't know why I'm feeling that way, but I am. So I just have to warn you, I'm not being judgmental at all. I'm just, I'm telling you what I feel. You know, I'm a strong empath and that's what I'm feeling. So just, just be mindful of that. That's all. There is some communication coming in um, and things are going to start happening quickly. It looks like there might be something you have to walk away from. Um, but you're, you're in magician mode as well. So you're really manifesting things, good things to come. And you have ace of pentacles here. So there looks like there's a new opportunity for money to come in too. So it really feels like you are just determined to have what you want. And you have, you feel like you're, you, you feel a little defensive, like you have to defend why you want it or something like that. I don't know. Let's go and <laughs> see what's happening. Rise above. I see only beauty and grace. All right. So with this very strong emperor energy here, right? This is what they want you to do. They want you to stay away from the arrogance. They want you to rise above it. They want you to know that good things are happening for you and to you. Um, so you need to be grateful for that and rise above any negativity. Don't let anybody bring you down, right? Just kind of um, like don't get sucked into the drama. Rise above it. That's what I'm feeling. You need to just rise above it. Keep the peace. Perfect timing. This is the right time for you to move forward. So you're walking away from something, right? Something important. Something that has, you know, got you soul searching a little bit. And, um, but they're saying now's the right time to do it. If you wait anymore, if you procrastinate, um, it won't be, it might be harder for you. So whatever you're thinking about walking away from, I think now's a perfect time to do that because it's going to shoot you forward in either in life or in um, spirituality it's really um, a good time for you to make a change here you are a superhero Scorpio um, <laughs> with all this Emperor energy, yeah, absolutely, you're a superhero. You're stronger than you think. You're stronger than you know. Um, sometimes when um, we get into emperor energy, it's because, um, you know, there, there might be some hidden fears and we don't want anybody to see that. So we put on this alpha male um, energy, right? But this card is saying, you don't have to pretend you are stronger than you think then you realize you are your own superhero and you can make things happen you're in magician mood so it looks like good things are coming in for you Scorpio the golden phoenix something you thought finished bursts back to life oh Scorpio oh Scorpio 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 they showed me there are some feelings that are coming back. You're going to see somebody and you're going to think you're going to have that little bit of arrogance where like, you know, you're going to see somebody and you're like, that's okay. They don't affect me. I'm over it. I, that's over and done with. I'm, that's dead and buried. Then you're going to see them and you are going to get a spark. Oh, Scorpio, it is not dead and buried. Something is bursting back to life here. Doesn't have to be a bad thing. I know, I know, <laughs> I know the way I sound, but it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It's just, you're not going to expect this. You are, and oh, you're not going to expect it. And there's something you need to walk away from. And these feelings could ignite that. But it's perfect timing. Everything is happening for a reason. And you got to work through your fears. Don't procrastinate. <laughs> if, you're getting, if you're getting inspired action, don't procrastinate. Because you might make your situation tougher if you do. It's perfect timing. You're going to feel an attraction towards somebody. 
that you might not want to feel attracted to, but you are. You are, Scorpio. (laughs) Well, that could be a really good thing. It could be a really good thing. All right, let's get some love advice. (laughs) Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Scorpio, this comes in with perfect timing, right? And rising above any issues that you might have had. You're manifesting this. Whether you realized it or not, you're manifesting this. So... Take the inspired action and trust your heart. Don't listen to your head right now. Follow your heart, okay? Because your head might be telling you something else. Listen, what what does your heart want? You got to trust the heart's guidance here. All right, let's get a believe in your own magic. Of course you got slay the dragons. (laughs) That's facing your fears, right? That's not letting fear consume you. That's that's facing them head on and figuring things out. You know, not letting anybody take advantage of you. Because I don't know, I kind of feel like up here, somebody was taking advantage of you a little bit. I don't know why I was getting that. Because I was like, you, I said, the people, people who are around you enjoy the fruits of your labor. I kind of felt like there was not equal give and take there. So, I don't know. I don't know, Scorpio. Just, uh, yeah, face your fears, that's all. (laughs) Let's get you some charms. I don't know if this is a good or a bad reading, Scorpio. I guess it depends on your situation, but I think you can go either way. (laughs) I don't know if I'm happy for you or worried for you. All right. Well, you do have the support of the angels. They are watching over you and guiding you. And you are living the good life. I just feel that's in your nature. You're you're doing what you want. Uh, You're you're the emperor. You're you, you got it going on. There's some travel coming in. A lot of travel here. Um, again, you're being supported by the angels. Oh, more angels. Lots of angels here. So, um, f- again, follow your inspired action because it's going to bring a smile to your face. Listen to that intuition. Absolutely. Go with your gut. Try to stay out of your head. Go with your gut. Um, there's a puppy here. A puppy paw. I got the puppy paw print. Um. I don't know. I think, I actually think that there's a puppy on the other side here with this one. Usually I I don't say that unless I get my puppy angel because I do have a puppy angel charm. But for some reason, either you're getting a brand new puppy or new dog's going to find its way to you. Um, I'm kind of feeling like there's a dog on the other side though. That's like urging you to, helping you to do something, helping you, helping you manifest something. I don't know why I'm feeling it. That's kind of crazy because um, I don't, I'm just going to let it go. I'm, I'm just going to let it go. But um, there is some slow movement forward here with the wagon. So you're moving forward. Um, I don't think you're moving. You're making progress. Whatever progress it is. I think you're making progress to towards your manifestations. But they're slow. They're slow to manifest, but there is some fast communication coming in. So maybe things will start picking up. But they're definitely telling you that this is the right time for something. So it's the right time for you to move forward. And it's right under the walking away from something. So there maybe there's something you have to leave behind and move forward towards something better for you. I don't know, but Scorpio, that's what I got for you. I hoped it helped. It was not a super fun, clear reading, but I feel like there's important information in here, and I feel like you guys will know it, whatever it is. And if it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't 
align with what you're thinking, then uh, just leave it behind. All right, Scorpio, give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that'll help me a lot and make me very grateful. And until next time, love and light.